Quantum Break, an upcoming time-bending action game from Remedy, has long been promoted as a reason to buy an Xbox One. Earlier this week, Microsoft announced it's also coming to the PC. This really shouldn't have been a surprise, but for a lot of good reasons, it was. Quantum Break is an ambitious work, one that iterates on the time manipulation gameplay the developer has become known for by allowing players to literally shift time. Additionally, and perhaps most weirdly, it also has FMV cutscenes, but that gets a thumbs up from me. Remedy, like a lot of studios, was once primarily known as a PC developer. Remedy first put themselves on the map with Death Rally, an overhead racing game that was Twisted Metal before Twisted Metal. Max Payne was when most people became familiar with Remedy, however. Max Payne and its sequel, The Fall of Max Payne, were one of the premier reasons to own a PC back in the early 2000s. Sure, it did come into other platforms, including actually the Game Boy Advance, but it was really a PC game. Remedy didn't own Max Payne, though. Take-Two Interactive bought the series in 2001 for $10 million and nearly 1 million shares. Remedy developed the sequel, but decided it wanted to completely own its next game, Alan Wake. Alan Wake was originally announced at E3 2005 with a tech demo that promised an open world. The basics, a writer trying to finish his new novel, wouldn't change before the finished game was released many years later. Actually, five years later. What's interesting about Alan Wake is that it was announced for PC and next generation consoles, consoles that would eventually become the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Just one year later, however, Microsoft inked a deal with Remedy to make Alan Wake an exclusive. At the time, it was definitely coming to the PC. I mean, why wouldn't it come to the PC? All of Remedy's games come to the PC. It's unclear what changed, but in July 2009, Remedy told GameSpot it was now an Xbox 360 exclusive. It is accurate that we are currently working exclusively on the Xbox 360 version of Alan Wake. It's safe to say, at least, a simultaneous launch with the Xbox version will not happen at this late stage. PC plans are currently open. Remedy has a deep heritage in PC gaming and would love to see a PC version available to its PC followers. Ultimately, however, this decision lies with our publisher. This was a huge bummer for PC fans, especially since they're the ones that put Remedy on the map in the first place. It was unclear what led to this decision, but if you read through the statements, it sure sounds like Microsoft is saying, we want you to make this an Xbox exclusive, it's going to stay an Xbox exclusive. Microsoft didn't make things easier to swallow when it released this terrible statement to Game Watcher about why it was remaining an exclusive. Some games are more suited for the intimacy of the PC, and others are best played from the couch in front of a larger TV screen. We ultimately realized that the most compelling way to experience Alan Wake was on the Xbox 360 platform, so we focused on making it an Xbox 360 exclusive. Both Remedy and Microsoft have long histories in PC game development. This decision was about matching this specific game to the right platform. For a lot of reasons, this is complete BS. You can connect a PC to a TV. You can connect an Xbox 360 controller to a PC. There's nothing that doesn't allow you to have the exact same experience if that is really what Microsoft was concerned about. What they were actually concerned about was not being explicit in saying, look, we want this to be an exclusive because what we're interested in is selling more Xbox 360s. Had they done that, yes, people might have been upset, but at least it would have been more honest. In other words, they were more interested in beating PlayStation than supporting the PC. Alan Wake was released to critical acclaim in May 2010, but it wasn't until February 2012 that Remedy would get around to announcing it was coming to PC a little under seven years after the game was originally announced for the PC in the first place. In an interview with Eurogamer, Remedy head of franchise development Oscar Hakanan said the PC version came about because... We were like a nagging little kid. Time is a factor in having a good relation with Microsoft. It was just a number of discussions with the right people and then them saying, yeah, we want to see you do that. We see it's important to you. The PC version of Alan Wake turned out fantastic and made its production budget back in only 48 hours. What does this tell us? They probably should have put out a version of that earlier or at least been more honest with the PC crowd in the first place. Which brings us to Quantum Break, set to be released a little under four years after Alan Wake hit the PC. When Quantum Break was announced in May 2013, it was never planned for PC. It was always an Xbox One exclusive, or at least that's what they told the public. What changed over the next few years, however, was Microsoft's approach to the PC. The company has always paid lip service to the idea of supporting PC games, but has only recently come around to being serious about it. It's why people are cynical when Microsoft says, we take PC gaming seriously. But now, Killer Instinct, once an Xbox exclusive, is coming to the PC. Gears of War Ultimate Edition will soon be on PC as well, so why not Quantum Break? In August 2015, Xbox executive Phil Spencer tried to explain why to PC Gamer. Going to these teams mid-cycle and saying, hey, by the way, I want to add a platform, didn't really feel like necessarily the best way to end up with the best result for the game. They had a path that they were on. It's not to say those games could never come to Windows, but right now we're on the path to finish the great games they've started, and I want that to be the case. One place Quantum Break won't be coming is Steam, but that makes some sense. It might be a little convenient, but if Microsoft can avoid giving Valve a cut, they're not going to. The greater 
very convenient to be there not being a PC version at all. And at least in this case, while we had to listen to some of the lip service from Microsoft saying that a PC version wasn't coming or maybe it'll come later, at least now it's happening. And hopefully this is a step in the right direction, a step in which Microsoft and other companies can just be honest about what's happening with these games. Even if there's not gonna be a PC version, just say there's not gonna be one. If there's gonna be one, just say there's gonna be one. This is hopefully all a step in the right direction. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. There's tons of other stuff around here. You might have watched me die tomorrow. You might have watched me scream at horror games. You might have watched me react to trailers with my wife. You might have watched me share some of the coolest video games out there you never heard of. There's lots going on on the site. And YouTube, so that means what? You have, to, you have to like, you have to comment, you have to subscribe. All those things help the channel. All those things help me. And I really appreciate if you become part of the community over here. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another one.